guys! So this video is going to be a little more serious this week. A couple weeks ago, I posted a video where I sat in a forest and I talked about random things and I answered some questions and stuff and I kind of went on a tangent for like 10 minutes where I talked about what I had been learning and things that I had experienced as an art student in college or university. And I edited all of that out because it was very long and I figured that I could make a whole separate video talking about it because I want to be able to at least help one person out there who might be considering studying art and have no idea what to expect and are terrified and they're like frantically YouTubing and Googling. What do I expect? What does it take to be an art student? I hope that this video is helpful to you if you are searching and trying to find answers. And if you're not, I hope this video is at least interesting in opening up your eyes and mind to art as a subject of study. Personally, I have mentioned on this channel several times that I am studying art education and I am in my second year. I am finishing up my fourth semester. Currently, I am in three studio art classes, one English class, and an online computers course. So I'm not 100% into strictly studying art. I'm still knocking out some gen ed courses. I, as a kid, never thought that I would be able to study art in college. I always thought that art was just a hobby of mine, that I just really enjoyed art classes as something on the side. I had to stick to basic studies like English or math, but my passion is and always has been art. I can't imagine myself doing it anything else. I had a couple friends talking to me recently about the idea of switching majors and I was thinking about that but there's honestly nothing that I would ever want to switch to. There's nothing that I love more than art and I can't imagine myself studying anything else. And I think the first thing that just to get it out of the way and put it out there is that being an art student is so expensive. This video is definitely from the form of somebody who is an American and is studying at an American school. College and university is already expensive as it is. Tuition is expensive. If there's student loans that you might have to take out if you can't automatically pay it on the spot. But outside expenses, art is one of the most expensive. I feel like it is the most expensive because you have to pay for your own supplies. And when I say supplies, I'm not just talking the basic markers and colored pencils. There is so much more. When it comes to buying art supplies, you have to buy, depending on what class you're in and what medium you're learning in, whether it's painting, drawing, sculpture, graphic design, photography. Currently, I'm in a sculpture class, a drawing class, and a photography class. So in my photography class, I'm spending money on proper printing papers for print, and I'm spending money on memory cards. When it comes to sculpture, I have to buy clay and sculpting tools and dowel rods and screw eye drawing. I have to buy my sketchbooks. I have to buy my charcoal paper, newspaper, all of the charcoal pencils, different kinds of charcoal, Conte crayons. And not only that are you spending money on your supplies for school, but if you're really a passionate artist, there's a lot of things that you want to do outside of class that involve your own supplies. So if you're taking a drawing class, maybe you're interested in painting and you're doing painting outside of class. So you're buying all those supplies for yourself. I just recently bought a set of oil paints for myself. I bought like 17 canvases. I'm hoping to actually post a video on here soon of me painting something. You can buy the cheaper stuff, which is kind of what I go around doing, but even buying cheaper stuff, I swear, I spend at least 30% of my revenue that I take in from my job on art supplies. But in the end, it's totally worth it. You're learning and you're creating and it's very, very worth it. I don't want any of this video to scare you off of it because I just want to make this video as a preparation, something that kind of prepares you and helps you know a little bit more about what you're getting into. Another thing that you should be aware of is that art is subjective and I think that everybody is pretty much aware of that already, but your art teachers probably won't judge your projects in that way. I have already had quite a few experiences in some of the art classes that I'm taking in which the teacher has a very strict aesthetic of what they like and you kind of have to form and fit into that. Everyone's gonna teach differently and everyone is going to have different opinions on what is special and what is not in art. And that is so hard because you might think something looks beautiful and it's exactly what, how you like it, but your professor might think that this is off and this is off and I don't like this and there could be some biases in there. But for the most part, your professors are going to judge on your 
technique and what you're learning. You need to know the basics before you can go deep into the whole creative side of things, and I'm sure that as I go farther along in my studies that I will get to that point, but right now it's a lot of fitting into what is expected in the early stages and fitting into this tiny little box. My sculpture class right now is very hard for me because everything is not objective, nothing can really look like anything else, and I'm just not getting emotionally attached to the things that I'm creating, and for anybody that studies art, you probably already know that it takes a certain amount of emotional connection to your work to actually want to create. Again, it's introductory stuff, it's basics, you have to learn the basics before you can get into the big stuff. Another good thing to note is that your homework is going to be so different from all of your friends who are not art students. I mean, you're gonna have a couple quizzes here and there depending on your teachers, but there really is no intense reading outside of class. You're not going to get assigned 10 chapters in a book to read overnight. Not really going to be writing very many papers, and if you are, it's probably again in the early introductory stages. I don't have a ton of what I would call homework, because my whole life homework has just been something that I don't really want to do. In art, your homework is your art. If you are in a drawing class, you're going to have drawings to do outside of class. But if you're in a figure drawing class like I am, a lot of your work has to be done in class. Also, another thing is, is that your classes are going to be quite a bit longer than everybody else's. I don't know if this pertains to every university, but for mine, all of my art classes are three hours a day, twice a week. While some of your friends are probably in like an hour long lecture three times a week, you are in a studio three hours every day that you're in there working on your projects. And for the most part, you will get a lot of your stuff done in that studio time. There's always gonna be homework that you have to get done outside of school, but that's just life. In my sculpture class, I have had to come in multiple times. I have spent long, long nights working on projects. A lot of the time, your work will not be able to be done in a dorm room or your house. Take advantage of your studio time. Do not slack off in class. Get as much done in class as you can because you do not want to be staying at your university for six hours into the early hours of the morning. I know some people that pull all-nighters. Get it done. Get a good portfolio for everything that you're doing, especially if it's paintings, drawings, or even photography. Let me show you this. This is my photography portfolio. It's not very big, as you can see. Some of my prints from class, so pretty. But this was $40. $40. $40 for this tiny little book. I have another portfolio for my drawing class and it's a big one and it was like $70. They're really expensive but they're totally worth it because you want to protect your work as much as possible. Critiques! Critiques. I had no idea what to expect with critiques. I don't know how other schools do it but the way that my school does it is that you have a critique at the end of every project where everyone in your class gets their projects out and puts your project down on a platform and everybody stares at it and everybody judges it and everybody talks about it and tells them what you did right, what you did wrong, what could you use fixing in the future. But usually in the first couple sessions, first couple classes, you're gonna be in the same boat as everybody else. They're gonna feel really awkward and really uncomfortable critiquing other people's works because a lot of people are afraid to offend people. But as you get further along, it gets to a point where you're very open about everybody else's work and everybody is very open about your work and there's a lot of conversation that happens and that's really good. Critiques are a very lovely way to learn what you could improve on, learn the things that you're doing well. You're gonna be terrified the first couple times, especially if you're like me and you're terrible at public speaking and you're afraid of offending anybody so you're always walking on eggshells around people but you get better at them. They are super helpful. They're very, very helpful. Okay, so I feel like that's everything that I want to talk about in this video. Do you hear my brother? This. <laughs> I hope this video was educational. I hope that it helps at least somebody out there who's kind of freaking out about being an art student and studying art. Study what you love and don't let anything that I said in this video scare you because in the end it is all to help you. Everything that you would be learning as an art major, anything that you would be doing as an art major is meant to help you improve. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't study art and you can't be successful in art because you can be. If you have a passion for it and you love art and that's what you want to do, do it. If there's anything you take away from this video, just 
do it! Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you all next Saturday. Bye!